Welcome back, friends. I, for one, love the 80s. Not ashamed to admit that. I love the era, I love the music, and I especially love the guitarists. Because the style of guitar and rock music evolved to a new level during that period. Uh, on the tales of Eddie Van Halen, we had people like Nuno Betancourt, Steve Vai, Ingve, doing just incredible things. And one of the things that that evolution of style did is it pushed guitar manufacturers to try to catch up with the things that guitarists were demanding out of their instruments. And so, by the late 80s, we had guitars like these two beauties I have right here that were coming out to respond to the player's needs. Um, I've been asked to do a shootout between these two guitars, which is going to be incredibly fun for me. So let's see what we got here. In this corner, back in 1987, ESP Guitars released the Mirage series, and this is their reissue under the LTD brand. This is the LTD Mirage Deluxe 87 in the color of pearl pink. And let's take a look at what we have here. Uh, we have an alder body on this guitar, and within this body we have a Seymour Duncan distortion in the bridge position, a Seymour Duncan hot rails in the neck position, uh, just great examples of the pickups that were being used in the 80s. We have a Floyd Rose 1000 series trim, which is very close to the Floyd Rose original. It's a great trim system on here. Um, for our switching, we've got a three position switch so that you have neck, both, or bridge, volume, tone, one addition we have here is the ability to pull up the tone control, coil split both of these pickups. Um, above that, we have a three-piece maple neck, a Macassar ebony fretboard, 22 frets. Up top here, we've got the very fine LTD tuners. This fretboard has 350 millimeter radius, which is about 13 and 3 quarter inch radius. Um, just a wonderful guitar in looks, feel, functionality. So let's take a quick listen to these pickups. Uh, I'm going to be playing through a Line 6 Helix. I'm using the PRS Archon amp model, and I'm going to use the, the lead side and the clean side of it here. Uh, but let's start with the bridge pickup, the Seymour Duncan Distortion. And going to the neck pickup in humbucking mode. Center position with both. Okay, now let's take a listen to the coil split mode. This is going to be the Duncan distortion in the bridge. And the neck pickup. And both together. Okay, very nice sounds there. So let's listen to them through the clean channel. Uh, this is the bridge pickup, humbucking mode. And the neck pickup. And both pickups together. And the coil tapped position in the clean channel. And the neck pickup. Both together.
Okay, a bunch of really good sounds out of this guitar. So, let's take a look at what we have in this corner. The HM Stratocaster. Produced by Fender originally from, I believe it was 88 to 92. This has been reissued recently. Um, they have upgraded the pickups a bit from what they had in them before. I'll go through all the specs on this for you as well. On this Fender, we have a basswood body. Within that body, we have a Fender-designed HM Strat humbucking pickup that can be coil split. In the middle and neck positions, we have the SM Strat single coils. Down here, as far as switching, we have, as you would expect, volume control here, tone control for these two pickups, and a separate cone control just for the bridge pickup. No push-pull on this. We have a nice toggle switch right here. Down is humbucking. Up is single coil. Up here on the top end of the guitar, we have a wonderfully carved maple neck, a maple fretboard, 24 frets. Check this out. Fender, 24 frets. Gotta love that. Uh, the radius on this neck is 17 inches. So, I mean, if, if you're expecting a Fender feel... That's not what you got, but it is a great feel. I do love this neck. Uh, up top, we have Goto tuners on here. And, oh, I did skip over the trim system. This has the Floyd Rose Special Series trim and locking nut in it. Let's take a listen to the bridge pickup through the high gain channel of the Archon model. <laughs> Position two, which is the humbucker and the middle picket. The middle pickup by itself. Position four, which is a hum canceling position. The neck pickup by itself. And here's our humbucking pickup split to single coil mode. And let's take a listen to position two again to see how these react. And now let's go through these sounds again through the clean channel. This is the humbucker in humbucking mode. Position two. Middle pickup. The neck and middle pickup together. And the neck pickup by itself. One of the things that does impress me about this guitar is that not only do you have a very cutting tone from this uh, Fender designed humbucker here, you've still got a great Fender sound out of this guitar if you want to go in that direction. Even though these pickups, the single coils, are overwound and they are high output, uh, they still retain a lot of Stratocaster quality. Let's take a listen to the neck pickup here. Very nice. In uh, position four, I mean, a little bit fatter sound, but you can still go in that classic Strat direction with this guitar if you want to. So, there you have the specs and the basic sounds of these two guitars. But 
in my mind, the only way to do a real shoot out of this is let's go into the control room and see how they record with a very thick classic 80 style backing track. Um, and I will have to give a shout out to Richard W. Check out his YouTube channel. He has released several great backing tracks for guitars and bass for free uh, in several different genres. And during the quarantine, I gotta tell you, I've become kind of an expert on backing tracks because I got very tired of playing by myself. And just to give you a few details about how I'm going to do this, I have dialed up um, a setting on the Archon model here. I'm gonna have the left channel running through a Mesa Boogie 412 cabinet, the right channel running through a Greenback 412 cabinet. I am kind of made some compromises and came up with a sound that I thought worked for both guitars. I am not changing the input level for either one. I'm not changing the EQ on either one. We're gonna just put them in and see what comes out. Um, I think this is the best solution I could get to give you a true comparison of how both of these guitars are gonna stand up in a studio situation. So here we go. Okay, so what'd you think? I have never had so much fun doing a guitar shootout before. Both of these guitars were just a joy to play. I loved the tones I was getting out of them. But since this is a shootout, let's talk a little bit about what we got here. Uh, Tone-wise, very, very close call. I think that if I was doing something that was more lyrical and melodic throughout, I may go with the LTD. Uh, just a very smooth, rich sound from these. Uh, but for a more aggressive style of playing, these pickups really cut through. Um, when I was going through the tones, I was kind of worried about you know the output and whether they were going to sound a little too dark. I gotta give kudos to Fender, the way they voiced these pickups. The frequencies that needed to pop out in a really you know, thick mix, they popped out in this guitar. And looking at my DAW, I would say that I got about a half a decibel less output out of this guitar, but it's just as present and upfront in the mix as the LTD was. Um, and I will say that overall sounds that I used in that video and uh, had to be 
the last phrase I did, which was using the neck pickup on this guitar. That was just sweet. Uh, so as far as tone goes, I got to give a point to the Strat on this one. Now, as far as build quality and components, again, both of these guitars are excellently built. Uh, the finish is great on both. Fret work, I mean, everything about it. I can't complain about anything about the build quality on these. Only difference that does come up in the components is this 1000 series trim that is being used on the LTD is, you know, you can look on Floyd Rose's webpage and you will see this is a upgrade from the Floyd Rose Special Series trim that is used in here. There is a difference in feel. Uh, I had to make a few compromises when I was doing some of the whammy bar stuff on this guitar because when you do you know, take the whammy to the extreme, you lose a lot of sustain and you can feel it you know, going out whenever you get to the extremes on the whammy bar. I did not feel that on the LTD. Because of that one component, I have to give the point for build quality and components to the LTD. Uh, playability. Got some surprises in this one. You know that I do love the LTD neck carves. Um, I'm generally not a big fan of maple fretboards, but I got to tell you, this was a joy to play. The 17 inch radius on a maple fretboard is something I haven't had experience with before and I just loved it. Um, this thin U shape on the LTD is a great carve. Truthfully, I got to give a toss up on that. Both of these guitars were equally playable. And the last category I can come up with to compare these guitars on is just basic value. And what we've got here is the HM Strat, which comes in at a minimum advertised price of $11.99, does include a really nice sturdy gig bag, um, has three pickups on it, so you are going to get a few more tonal options, plus it's got the Fender sound. Um, I don't know how you really put a price on that. With the LTD Mirage Deluxe 87, you do get a major upgrade in the trim system. You don't get a gig bag. Um, and I have to say, if the trim systems were equal on both these guitars, I would probably give this nod to the Strat, but I gotta make this a toss up too. Points for both of them in this case. This is truly a toss up in my mind. Uh, I love both these guitars. I would grab either one in a second and add it to my collection and use them a lot. Uh, but make your own decisions on this. Tell me what you think from what you heard. Let us know in the comments. And if you've got any questions about either of these guitars or any guitar you may be looking at, give the guys at moreguitars.com a call or visit the store More Music in Evansville, Indiana. These guys are the experts on every brand they sell, and it is their mission to make sure they match you up with the perfect guitar for your playing needs. And until next time, hope you enjoyed the shootout, and we will see you soon. <laughs>